Let's do it! Check it out. Canalaïcien is brought to you by Soit à côté de Haïti, des pour faire un transfert pick-up dans CAM aux États-Unis et au Canada, n'a pas un appel gratis et puis bénéficier à recevoir un texte message gratis pour qu'on ait chouchou arrivé. Accueillez la bureau tout partout dans tout le pays. Pour qu'on bureau CAM qui prenne la caillou, il est gratis dans 1-800-934-0440 ou bien visitez nous sur www.camtransfer.com. In the mid to late 90s, the group Ram was one of the hottest racing groups out of Haiti, and I did have the pleasure of interviewing Richard Morse, founder of the group, back in 1997, right after their performance at Spirit Nightclub. Here is how it went. Check it out. Welcome, Richard. All right. Hello, Michelle. Hello, everybody in Miami. Uh, your, the name of your new album is called Puritan Voodoo. So what is that about? Bon, it's a... Uh, It's a little bit about the band, it's a little bit about the music, it's a little bit about myself. Uh, I grew up in New England. Uh, my father is American, my mother's Haitian. Uh, my father's ancestors came uh, to the United States, to Massachusetts, in 1635 uh, with the Puritan ships from England. And uh, my mother and her ancestors came from Haiti. And uh, hence I am born uh, Puritan voodoo. Uh, it's also um, a little bit about the music because what we do is we uh, we mix the styles of uh, of Haiti and Africa and we mix we mix it with American and European and English and so uh, so it, it it tells a little bit about the mix that we're doing. So I, I heard a little bit of reggae in it too, right? Yeah, well, you know, the reggae is. Uh, I think uh, the Jamaicans will tell you it comes from R and B. Uh, And uh, the world is becoming smaller and smaller. And, and uh, you hear good music, you grow up listening to good music. And, uh, and once you start making music, it all comes out. Whatever went in starts coming out. And so, uh, so if you hear reggae, that means that we all listen to reggae. If you hear uh, merengue or combao or rock and roll or blues, whatever, that's because those are the musics that we listen to and that's what comes out. And your mother was a recording artist and she was also a dancer. Is that where you got your interest in music or? Um, I grew up in, in, a, in an environment uh, conducive to art. Uh, my father's a professor, intellectual, who appreciates the arts and my mother was a singer, dancer, choreographer. She did a few albums in the 50s. Her name was Emigrant de Pradzin. Uh, she was uh, uh, well known as, uh, when she was younger in Haiti and then moved uh, to New York and Connecticut and Puerto Rico where she performed and taught. And um, So I, I grew up in an art, art environment. I, I don't know what made me get into music. I, I just got into music um, not, without a lot, not with a lot of thought. Uh, I got into music uh, when we were leaving college. And uh, my friends were forming a band, sort of a new wave punk band. And um, they asked me to buy a bass. I bought a bass, started playing. Uh, it became a passion, but it just started like that. So how did you get into the, the Racine music? Because you could have gone into compa or anything like that, but you choose the Racine part of it, which is great, by the way. I, I enjoyed your performance. The uh, Racine... I, <laughs> 
everyone is confused why we, we choose Racine. It seemed like the only choice to me. I don't. It was. Uh, uh, my mother sang voodoo songs, uh, and she taught the folklore, and so, uh, and and it was the rhythms that that I like. Uh, the, I only recently started to understand even what the compa, the merengue was. It doesn't. Uh, rock and roll, which is what I grew up with, uh, goes more with the gasin, with the uh, with the with the African rhythms and uh, and that. It's uh, it, it, I understand it better. I I, I enjoy it more. And it, there's more uh, there's more diversity. Uh, there's a, a lot of difference between a, a Congo rhythm and a pitwo and a, a daume, ibo. All these rhythms, it's, each one has its own little thing. And so. It's, Does the choreography for you? Uh, my wife dances. Uh, you know, she she gives the steps, uh, or if someone has an idea, they'll give it. Or if, or I have an idea. You know, I I grew up in a dance environment, so I have ideas about it. You know, uh, so I can. You know, I, sometimes I give an idea, but but you know, I let the dancers dance and the drummers drum and the guitarist guitar. You know, we. And it all comes together. Well, no, you know, I have final decision, right. uh, but uh, I like for people to express themselves, mm -hmm. people in the band, and, and they know what I'm looking for. Uh, they they understand. It, it took a, at the beginning. It took a, a lot longer to uh, get a song together. Now it takes less time. Uh, right, because everybody more or less knows what you want, and you know what, what they exactly. like. Exactly. 